All right, at this point you can see I've got the rails on, or the extrusion with the rails on. So it's a little challenging. You have to put screws at the end. You can still you can see um, these little uh, M8 M38s is what I use, even though the manual called for 10. I noticed that it wasn't quite deep enough for the screw to tighten down. Um, I ended up using this little box because these extrusions come down a little bit, so this worked out pretty well. The hardest thing about this build, I think, so far has been just trying to keep things square. So it, it's uh, pretty easy for things to loosen up a little bit, so make sure you really torque things down as well. Okay, and this next piece and the other one on the opposite end, are, we're going to use the last of our E extrusions, which have the hole right here towards the end. Okay, here it is with the the E extrusions just put on and the real extrusions on. And next up, we're simply going to put on the C extrusions, which have the holes on both of the ends, and they just fit right into the back of the tap hole. So you're just going to put in the <clears throat> the screws and then um, slide the extrusion over it and secure it down just like pretty much everything else. And if you did it right, everything should line up. If things aren't lining up, then you're probably going to need to go back and make some adjustments. All right, so they do ask you to check, make sure you have 37 millimeters and mine look right on. If you have something other than 37 millimeters, you need to go back and adjust. All right, I'm at the point now where I need to preload some of the nuts for the next steps of the frame so I can finish that up. And as in previous steps, I'm gonna to continue to use these t uh, 3D printed T-nuts. Okay, and just because of the uh, number of nuts that you have to preload here, I'm not gonna show every single one, but um, in the manual, depending on your version of the manual, it's, it'll, it'll call them out. So just go ahead and follow that and you know, you want to try to, there's a, a section in the manual that should um, show you where you double check everything. One other tip that I thought I'd mention since I see the tape on here is basically this piece of tape that I used earlier in the build when I was um, trying to uh, square up the, basically the Z. So I, I marked this out 57 millimeters and uh, did one on this side as well just to kind of make sure that I had things lined up just right. So that really did help me when I was trying to keep things square and get them, uh, get my 90 degree angles. Okay, the next part needed is this panel, and this is going to go on the bottom of the frame. And the board is just going to slide, or the panel is just going to slide right in like this. And you're going to have a little bit of overhang for your next uh, <clears throat> extrusion that's going to go over there. Also make sure that you're, you've got your um, T-nut visible, which mine is all the way in the corner here. All right, now I'm going to put uh, four preloaded nuts in the bottom of this B extrusion, and then I'm going to slide this in place, uh, basically right here, and it should fit so that the, the next two extrusions can then tie in. All right, now I'm gonna use the last two pieces of the D extrusion, which have the holes on the end, um, and then I'm gonna basically set them in place and tighten them. Also on these D extrusion, make sure you get it correct because um, you're going to need <clears throat> one hole this way to access the screw in this extrusion and a hole this way to access the screw in here to tighten it. So um, the other thing you may have noticed is I don't have screws in these because I took them out earlier. So I'm going to be adding those back in. All right. And before you go any further, just make sure you've got a screw here, here and here. And then I found it easiest just to drop. The extrusion in like that and from there you can access it if you did it right you should have a hole up up here up top and then also a hole down here and a hole over here when you're tightening these down make sure you check that these are flush um, as much as possible so that way your frame is going to stay nice and true all right here it is now with the extrusions all connected so now we've got a cube okay so i went through and pre-checked all my uh, nuts that I needed to have in here and I found out that I missed the six that are in this top rail so I had to tear off a couple of extrusions nothing major to put those in there